Hi friends, welcome to our channel. If you love our videos, please subscribe and also like the video to let us know of your feedback. Today, we are going to review the 2023 animated fantasy adventure movie, Rally Road Racers. The movie got released on 12th May 2023 in US theaters with a rating of PG for some mild violence and rude humor. The movie is of length 1 hour and 33 minutes. Z is a small and lovable Loris that dreams of becoming a great auto racer one day like his deceased mom. I'm gonna be the champ. He lives with his grandma in the Chinese village Slow Loris. Z's grandma wants him to give up his love for racing but practices Tai Chi. Z, on the other hand, never stops painting soup parts and wearing them as helmets. In this movie, the martial art is shown to give a supernatural power to Z with which he is able to slow down time around him. Unlike the Flash, who can travel faster than light. Archie Venglorious, the reigning champion of the rally car circuit, is also a real estate mogul. He is seen winning the Bonsor Road Rally. So it's the last day of the Bonza Rally. Later, he buys the entire village of Slow Loris in order to build luxury homes called Muddy Meadows. Z goes to Wen Glorious to see if he can get a deal for the deed of his grandma's house. At Wen Glorious' place, he sees a trophy room filled with honors from around the globe. He also learns that Wen Glorious is so confident and arrogant that he has already uttered a space to display the winner cup of the upcoming Silk Road Rally China. Coming soon. The Silk Road Rally. Oh, it's gonna be epic. Building a trophy case? I mean, you haven't even won yet. But I will. This gives him an idea to challenge Venglorious for the Silk Road Rally Cup. Z bets Venglorious that if he wins, he will get his grandma's house deed for free. And if he fails, he'll become the face of Muddy Meadows. Since Venglorious is so confident in his upcoming victory, he accepts Z's bet. You seem pretty confident you're gonna win. Willing to stake a bet on it? You're the one who's supposed to be doing the beating of me. I laugh at the idea. <laughs> Z, as a rookie race car driver, suffers from a psychological condition that makes him panic every time he leads a race, forcing him to crash or drop out of the race completely. With no advantage towards him, Z wonders about his bet and the way to win the upcoming race. This is when he meets with the amazing Nash Court, a former race champion and currently selling bumper stickers. Why the long face, kid? Kind of have to sort of race the Silk Road Rally. Nash tells Z about the Silk Road Rally and also warns Z that when Glorious is a dirty driver with a lot of tricks and weapons to cheat in the race. Race is no holds barred. 200 miles per hour for four days straight across unforgiving terrain against the craziest drivers in the world. He also advises Z to take the lead just before touching the finish line to avoid his psychological condition. <gasps> you were a race car driver? I've been lots of things. Hearing the reason behind Z's intention to win the race, Nash agrees to help him. I know! How am I gonna beat the best racer in the world? Alright kid, listen. You got everything you need. He tells Z that in order to get his help, Z should never question him but follow his instructions religiously. I'm in way over my head. I can help you, but no questions asked. You would do that? But why? Okay, there was two questions right off the line. See you tomorrow. Nash tells Z that the art of a champion beats in all of us and we can achieve anything in life if we work hard for it. But you and me together, there ain't nothing we can't do. Whoa. Okay. With the statement, appearance is an illusion, Nash helps Z build a race car to suit his height, weight, and sight. Nice car. If I had a car like that... Cars don't win races. Drivers do. 
Although, yeah, we actually are going to lead it. Just like minions, Vainglorious as an army of Aesman Toads. <laughs> When Glorious calls them Echoes and uses them as he seems fit. In fact, he even has a toad as a passenger in his race car, ejecting him during the race as an obstruction for his competitors. When Glorious is seen not worried about the bet until he learns that Nash has built Z a car for the Silk Road Rally. When Glorious calls on Shelby for help to defeat Z and sends his tigers to take care of Nash. On day one of the race, all races assemble with the song playing Who let the frogs out? Who let the frogs out? See what you got. Let's go! Come on! Let's go to the As the Silk Road Rally is told to be a race with no rules and the races are allowed to do anything to win, when Glorious, taking full advantage of the rules, fires off missiles at his competitors, throws off his toad workers and does other crazy things. When Glorious takes the lead easily using his missiles and other obstructors. When Nash sees a race in trouble, he asks Z to stop and help. When the tiger accompanying Shelby attacks Nash, Nash overcomes and together with Z gets back into the race. Shelby is seen calling Venglorious to report that the tiger could not handle the goat. At the end of day one, Z gets sixth position. Meanwhile, the demolition has started in the village as Granny is seen inviting the neighbors who lost their home. When Shelby meets Z again, she gets to know more about Z. She recognizes him to be an old accountant. She also gets to know that Z is not racing for fame or money or for the trophy, rather, he is racing for the deed of his granny's house as it is the last resting place of his mom. She is shocked to know that Venglorious is going to destroy the village where she had her last happy memory. In the next scene, we see the tigers on order from Venglorious try once again to kill Nash, but instead they get hurt and flee. Z realizes his superpower to slow down time in this scene and is seen helping Nash and other friends to defeat the Tigers. On the morning of day 2, we see a fans club cheering for Z. Irritated by Z's fans, Venglorious goes to Z to change a bet. Venglorious bets a deed of the entire village if Z wins. If he fails, he has to become an echo, kind of a slave to Venglorious. Z accepts a new bet. Day 2 race starts. This time, Venglorious leads Z and all other races to a frozen lake so that they all get stuck in the lake or worse, gets killed when the ice on the frozen lake breaks. Venglorious abandons an echo toad to escape from the lake. When Z escapes from the frozen lake, he rescues the echo toad who then becomes his friend. Also, Z decides to sacrifice a lot of time on day 2 to help other racers who get stuck in the frozen lake. Z tells Nash that he joined the race to save family and that is exactly what he is accomplishing by helping the other racers. At the end of day 2, Z, even after losing a lot of valuable time, climbs from his 6th position to the 3rd position. When the interview crew asks him what he was thinking when he helped other racers, he tells them that his friends were in danger, so there was no time for him to think. In day two, we learn that the family of Venglorious is involved in organized crime. Venglorious' dad comes to pay him a visit when he hears about the bet Venglorious had with Z and tells him that if he loses the race, he will lose everything. Z, meanwhile, dances with Shelby and starts to develop a feeling for her. Nash sees Shelby talking with Venglorious and hears their plan to break Z's art by revealing the truth that Shelby works for Venglorious. Nash, with help from other racers, installs Nitro in Z's race car. When the race starts on day 3, Nash thwarts efforts of Venglorious to expose Shelby to ensure Z concentrates on the race. During the race, Nash tells Z by accident that Z is just like his mom. 
Hearing this, Z questions Nash and gets to know that his mom was also a student and a friend of Nash. He also misunderstands Nash to be the reason for his mom's death. In anger, Z uses the nitro in his race car to come first in the race on day three, but completely destroys his car. He also tells Nash to go away. With his car exploding, Z seems to have al almost lost the race. When he goes to meet Venglorious for a different bet, he is shocked to see Shelby with Venglorious. Venglorious is seen happy as Z does not have any means to continue his race. With slow music playing, we see Z walking in the rain, having lost hope. When Nash is about to board a bus, Granny comes to Z's rescue as she asks Nash not to abandon Z but to help him. Z gets a new car for the final day of the race. When Z questions Granny if she is fine with him racing, she tells him that she is so proud of him, especially because he is racing and did not abandon his dreams. Things take a wild turn when Z's friends in the race decide to stop Venglorious instead of winning the race for themselves. When Venglorious escapes from the trap and uses his missiles to halt all other races. With no one left to compete, Venglorious races towards the finish line in the city of Shanghai. To everyone's surprise, Z joins the race. This is crazy! The famous quote, When I am behind, I am a force of nature. Z zumps over fallen debris, using it like a roller coaster, to fly over Venglorious and to become the winner of the Silk Road Rally, just when Venglorious thought he had won it. With the crowd shouting Z, and when Glorious getting punished by his dad, the deeds of the village are returned safely to its rightful owners. The movie ends with Z getting together with Shelby and the village of Slow Loris filled with joy. It is fun to watch the stock tasked with starting the Silk Road Rally on all four days getting thrashed and gets run over by the races. This movie teaches kids about patience, value of friendship, tradition, forgiveness, love, respect, and more importantly, the definition of winning in life with the quote, winners are always winners even when they are losing. There are very many characters in this movie that include Loris, Toad, Tigers, goats, weasels, sea horse, monkeys, stock, etc. The movie teaches us that in life we have to overcome selfishness and think about others. The movie is basically a different way of retelling the story of the tortoise and the rabbit, where the rabbit, full of confidence and arrogance, slept during the race to make fun of the tortoise. The tortoise, on the other hand, kept going slowly but steadily. When the rabbit woke up, the tortoise was near the goal. The rabbit ran its best but couldn't overtake the tortoise in time. This story taught us that the race is not always won by the fastest. Parents should be aware that the movie does contain some references to non-Christian religious beliefs. Though the quality of the animation is not like the Mario Brothers that got released earlier this year, it has all the elements to keep kids entertained. Overall, this is another great movie for kids and for adults who have a crush on animated fantasy movies. Do remember to enjoy the movie in theaters. To continue enjoying our videos, please subscribe to our channel. We will see you in our next video. Until then, bye-bye.